Yeah. Well, oh, hey. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not. It worked. It did the job. And I'm pretty sure his shit will still be there when I go back. Just sitting in the spot where he normally spawns. And then I'm just gonna sell it. Probably. Because I could. Because I, I could just sell everything. I could make this that type of run where I just sell everything. And I break the mind goblins that tell me to collect one of each item. Treat Dark Souls like Pokemon. I don't know why I did that. Just felt good. Felt necessary. Just one shot those guys now, anyway. So. Alright, and there's his items, which I will sell. Uh, and actually, I'll keep the master's rags, or the raggedy armor, raggedy chest piece, whatever it's called. Master's robes. Sweat shield. As part of it is normally when I play this game, I want to keep one of each item so I always have some options for later. But that's not the type of run I'm doing right now. Yep, we did get another level. I need 4,000. Just pause and check next time. 36. Sell. Sell, sell. Yes, even Lucerne. Even Lucerne gets sold. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll keep the East West Shield for Fashion Souls purposes. As well as all the armors. Maybe eventually I'll sell armors I know I'm not going to need, but right now I'm fine with keeping them. Probably could have gotten close to 15 intelligence by now. Okay. Okay, 39,000 is the next level. Oh. Very well. See you later. Won't even probably use my storage box this game. I'm gonna sell. All right, now that that's done, go back to the undead settlement. There's a bunch of stuff I probably missed there. Maybe we'll get the curse rotted great wood as well out of the way. Done and taken care of. Really not necessary, but fuck it. Can't remember all of the stuff that I need from there, if anything. There's the Handmaiden's Ashes. There's that the Undertaker's Ashes. Something like that. Mortician's Ashes, that's what I'm thinking of. Ooh, hello. I don't like that you have to, when you dash in, it's almost a little bit of a delay. But you are much better off doing a backstep in L1. You want to do some quick attacks. Nice. Nice, nice. Maybe I will just go Dex Beast and only rely on, like, fine resins. 
know, for additional damage whenever I need them. Oh, hello. You moved out of the way. I don't appreciate that. Our cool pine bundle. Pine bundle. I thought it was called some. Okay, the bundle is the little one. If I'm remembering correctly. Pine resin is like the long lasting one. Bundle is like the short term one. Which lasts for like 10 seconds or something like that. Let's see if I can eyeball this. There we go. Doop -doo -doop. Oh, nice. Sometimes, I guess maybe it depends on which barrel you hit with your firebomb. Sometimes they will, like, one or two of them will survive. And they will either aggro you or they will just stand there like nothing happened. Just be like, oh, my buddies blew up for some reason. Now back to the fire. Yeah, I see you. Ooh. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that was some lucky hitbox stuff. And then I got some unlucky hitbox stuff. Okay, let's back out of this right now. And that's not my Estus. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, not quite dead yet. Nice. I don't think the poise makes my fist stronger. I think that's just a poise buff. That's not an attack buff. I could be wrong. Whenever I read about it or saw it in the videos, I always thought it was just a straight poise buff and nothing else. Ooh. Hello? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, nice. Now to clean up this area, get some more Astus, which I've been missing. And an ember, nice. I could do that. I could just go full Dex Beast. My end goal is 70 soul levels. 51 dexterity. And pretty much at that point, you're just getting one point of damage per dexterity. Or, you know, for the end result of my sharp cast, at least, anyway. Hello. Is there just one? I thought there was two. Okay. It's not got greedy. you it sounded like oh he's coming out from around isn't he no i'm wrong he fell down the hole already i think i fell down the hole and now he's pathing back around here I've seen that happen a few times. No, maybe I'm wrong. At least this time I'm wrong. I always feel like there should be something over here, but it's just a dead end. 
big door blocked by a bunch of um, remains. Oh, he can't come in. The door is closed. I'm not even sure if he would path towards the door with it being closed. Kind of unsettling how all of the body bags are kind of like bouncing up and down. That's weird. Don't normally see that happening. They're all like bouncing up and down in unison too, like as almost as if the ceiling is like shaking. Oh, hi. Is it just you? I think it's just you. Oh, that's out of range. Those guys are kind of a pain for this build. They almost do claim like an almost an AoE attack. Flail attack. There's no there's no well defined hurt box to avoid. And I wish this would refill at least one of your Estus flasks. That'd be handy. I always feel like there's something in the corner there for some reason. Hello. Last firebomb. Almost feels like a waste to use it on you. I'm out of Estus, I might as well head back to the bonfire. Oh. Nope. Didn't quite make it. Nope. Didn't quite make it. Nope, didn't quite make it. Nope. And... Oh, he heard me, didn't he? Or is that a ghost I was just looking at? There. Gotcha. Nope, he's still there. I'll leave him be. He's fun where he is. For a second I thought the fire was slowing down my flame my frame rate, but it was just me running out of stamina and being forced to walk for a moment. Did I go this way? Let's not go this way. Let's go get the bonfire again. That's what I said I was going to do. Then I got sidetracked. Literally. Onto it. This side track. That's the frame right there. I was say, yeah, let's use our Estus chart. Rainer. Rainer. You do it over there. Okay, I need to talk to Andre. I'm a dummy. Should have put that on a while ago. Like a stream ago. Of course, yes. Oh, I do have a stage. Oh, I have more than one Estus flask. Or Estus shared, rather. Okay. Oh. Cool shit. I could have been holding on to a lot more Estus.
Yes. Back to the undead sentinel. I don't think I have a control shared. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Die, chairman. Oh, nothing else there. And let's get purple. Let's go purple. Be a purple boy. Ow! Fuck me. Yeah, that killed me. See that cage, dude? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to talk to him. I didn't expect him to move around like you're, he was going to attack you. Unless that means I'm too late to be a purple boy. Too late to get the perp. Ow. Not how it wants to land. Ah, we'll take these two out. We won't be in such a rush this time, I think. There you go, got you. Ooh, fuck. Right in the head, too. Yeah, that's a few... That's a few hits. That's a few projectiles. Pin cushing me. Turning me into a pin cushion. In cushion. Okay, now. Oh, no, I missed out on my souls that I left behind. Got you, worker gloves. No, I'm not switching to that. I'll keep the armor gloves I have on now. I don't remember what set they're from. Could be from the night set. Ooh. Just took him out with an L1 attack. Got you. Got you. Another one over here somewhere, yeah. Got you. Is that one? I feel like there's another, but I could be wrong. Oh, 
trying to get away, are we? There we go. Undone. There's this item all. Okay, so it's not too late for me to be a perk. That's our homeward bone. So we can boneward home. Oh. Not really necessary to heal, but might as well top it off. Ooh, that was a weird flash. I wonder if that shows up in the video. So if I remember correctly, this guy does not aggro. Long. Oof, that's loud. All right, then here is the grandpa. I don't actually remember his name, but we're, we're about to find out. You can only access the Mound Makers. Yeah, that's what they're called. You can only access the Mound Makers this way if you haven't encountered Chris Rod Greatwood yet. Indeed. He almost has a quagmire sort of voice. Almost like a G-Man as well. If Quagmire was the G-Man. Ray? Offer? I don't have any. <laughs> what would happen if you you had no b bones started to fight him and if you successfully killed him maybe he'd drop that bone anyway or you'd be forced to use your dark sign to get out and lose all your souls I want to know what I do Speaking of bones, do that. One fire last rest of that. Good pick. I'm deciding if I want to go out for a walk. I'll probably play this for a little while longer and then call it quits. Made a little bit of progress. Not a huge amount, but a decent amount. Oh, 
Ooh. Got you. I don't think it actually does, but I I want to feel like this works in Ocarina, works like an Ocarina of Time where you do a roll right as soon as you land from a tall fall, a high fall, then it protects you from damage. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work in this game, but I always feel like it should. I always act like it does. There we go, got you. And there's a little dude down here we will take care of as well. Ooh. I want to be careful with him. Just because of the bleeding. Bleeding, I'm not a fan of the bleeding. And I forget what you need to reduce bleeding damage, but there is a stat that helps to reduce it, I believe. Our trousers. There's more stuff to get here. Alright. I will be right back. I am back. It's stomping. Do they hear me? I'm used to playing like a super quiet build. Not even necessarily super quiet, but not as jangly as this, at least anyway. Hmm. Go up here. We need to talk to the pyromancer, dude. Uh, 
a chew. Uh huh, got you. I could have dodged through that, but I don't like dodging when I'm that this high up. You could have teleported out of that cage anytime. It's like. This is this is what you do if you want to be a teacher in the Dark Souls world. Put yourself in a cage, and then you just wait for someone to ask to be your student, and then teleport away to wherever they live. That's how it works. No supply list. There's, there's no college or university. You just do that. Ooh. Got you. He actually hit me a little bit. Like, just with the edge of his attack, almost. This is... Okay, and there's the fire ring down here, I think. I do believe. Some type of fire ring, I believe. I think it, like, buffs fire damage. It doesn't add fire damage, but it buffs fire damage you already have. <laughs> I hit the side wall there. There. There we go. Fire clutch ring. That's what it's called. Be wary of sniper. Oh, because yeah, those those dudes up there would throw bombs at you if you ignored them. They're not really snipers so much as, like, just there to punish you for not paying attention, I guess. They're not exactly hidden, but they're out of, they're a level above you. They would require you to look up like that. Wait, nice, right? Nice. How many shards do I need to upgrade this again? Doesn't tell you, does it? Not on the screen, it doesn't, at least, anyway. Ooh, excuse me. Pardon my rudeness. Okay. Now I want... Go to the other bonfire here. Lap data bridge. That's the one I want. Look at this guy over here. I don't have a very nice camera. So you can't get a good look at him. But just chilling, closing his eyes. And a little cat nap thing. Wait, could I ember up and fight the purple dude here? I mean, I know I could ember up, but will I fight purple dude here if I do? So I can't remember if I already beat him or not. No. Oh. Oof. Dodged too early. Oof. <laughs> Got you. That could have gone a lot worse. I got a little cocky in for some of that. Rubbish. Oh, thank you for your rubbish. We don't have rubbish here in Canada, we have garbage.
there's something I want to get here? Probably. You gonna get you gonna come and get me, huh? Got you. Bricker garb. Ah. Uh, I was too focused on poising through. Should have paid more attention to my health. <laughs> 